My name is Frances Lisson. I'm the Australia's ambassador to the WTO and I've been here since 2017. I first start, started working in multilateral trade and trade negotiations uh, during the Uruguay round in the 1980s. Uh, it was a very exciting time to be working here. Um, we were looking at uh, putting together the first agreement on trade and services. There was a lot of very inspiring people around, a lot of energy and enthusiasm and interest from the business sector. And I thought at the time that this was for the most interesting area to work in that, that I'd, I'd come across. And I think I, at that point, decided that I'd like to follow a career in, in trade policy and in particular trade negotiations. I've always loved trade policy and uh, I'm very, very pleased to be part of firstly the Doha round negotiations and then uh, worked on some free trade agreements that Australia um, was, was negotiating for, for many years with, uh, with China, Japan and Korea. So that was also a very exciting time finishing those three free trade agreements. Um, so it was really good and very exciting that um, a number of years later I became the ambassador here at the WTO. My message to women who were thinking of starting a career in the WTO and trade policy would be think, um, think big. You don't know where the road will take you. It's a really exciting journey. I never imagined when I started work that I would become Australia's ambassador to the WTO and it's an enormous honour to represent my country here at this fantastic organisation. Uh, so you don't know what will happen. Uh, there are so many opportunities and so many interesting areas of work. Um, so I really encourage you to, to stick at it and explore all the opportunities that are there. And we need new young people with new ideas because as I said, the trade and trade rules need to constantly evolve and constantly be updated and we need new ideas and new perspectives to do that, so I strongly encourage. My message to the WTO on its 25th anniversary is obviously this organisation is really, really important to so many countries. It's an enormous public good, um, sometimes taken for granted, but it's always been really fundamentally important in helping unlock the potential of trade for so many countries, for big, small, for big companies and small companies. And I think the message would be keep evolving, keep updating, make sure that this organisation remains relevant, um, that we keep business really constantly interested and involved with what we're doing uh, and that we're not afraid of change. It's so important that this organisation continues to evolve uh, and the future of trade depends on it.